Welcome to Two Tired Teachers. We're here at Ants Creek near Branson, Missouri. It's on Table Rock, Table Rock Lake, which is a huge lake. We talk about it later. It has 800 plus miles of shoreline. Right. As you can see, we're obviously, if you don't know where Branson is, it's in the southwest corner of Missouri. And there was a warning sign that there had been bears, bears. spotted in this area. And uh, it's a gorgeous park. This is literally a panoramic view from the edge of our site. There's a uh, boat ramp that's a large boat ramp that is actually still underwater. Yes. Uh, and so we have this awesome site that has this retaining wall where we can sit out under the awning and learn a lot about how to launch boats. We've learned a bunch. And then these are some of the campsites. You can see they're just gorgeous area, gorgeous campsites. Uh, they are electric, but water is nearby. Yes. As a matter of fact, water is right there. And this gives you an idea, though, of some of the sites that are here. I think there are around 50 sites in this particular 77 campground. 77 in this area. Um, and this has a playground, <laughs> swim area, uh, a pavilion that can be uh, rented if you need to. And then we have seen people... There was a uh, fishing tournament yes. the other night, which with, we have a little bit of video here in a second. Um, so it's been very interesting at this particular. Uh, there's a fishing tournament. As a matter of fact, it was there started about, about seven seven o'clock Wednesday night, and I think about 15 boats yes. were uh, involved, and we'd never seen anything like that. So it was really interesting to see. We could hear them calling the boats as they as they went out to fish, and uh, so that was fun to 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 see this. Now we have seen a lot of little bass boats, and those are the guys we've seen actually catching the fish. But as you can see, these are the larger boats that are going. We did take the opportunity to drive through Drown Town, uh, Branson. We knew that we didn't really care to see a show. We didn't want to get dressed up or anything. But that's the reason most people come to this area, or many people do. So we just got a, a little flavor of it. Okay, this is Ozark University or University of the Ozarks or whatever. But we've heard that... Uh, there's a restaurant here that is definitely worth checking out, and so uh, that is what we're going to do. And there is, it's like 11.30 and there's quite a crowd here. There's a tour bus over here, so um, we're going to go see what it's like. Okay, we've just come out of uh, College of the Ozarks. College of the Ozarks, and we had planned to eat. Uh, there, but there was a bit of a waiting list, and so instead we shopped around, uh, got a t-shirt, and the thing about this college is it's a working college. It's teaching students trades. Um, Which is why they call it Hard Work You. Right, and so um, they have homemade ice creams. Which From their dairy. We did try. Um, I got, uh, it was Bobcat Track, I think is what yeah. it's called. A dark chocolate with all kinds of neat stuff mixed in there, and she tried the um, mint Oreo, mint Oreo, which was good. And they have all kinds of jellies and jams that are made by the students here as well. They had uh, they have a bakery where I tell you this the uh, baked biscotti, and they have um, different kinds of cookies and all kinds of really nice pastries. And then um, I got some pear honey. And salad, and dressing. salad dressing, yes. So anxious to try that. The jellies, jams, preserves all looked great, but she's diabetic, so, so we tried we, to stay away from those. We did have some of the jerky and they had summer sausages. They also, I don't know whether they slaughter them here, but they also have uh, meat products that they process, I think. So it's a really great place to come off the beaten path uh, here at Branson. And, um, you know, if you want to break from the shows and things like that, come out here, support the students, help them get some experience being chefs, servers, hosts and hostesses. Um, it's teaching them a trade. Uh, you're getting a lot of great 
homemade products and um, but if you come to the restaurant you might want to make reservations good point <laughs> So we stopped in to upload some videos and uh, we're still here in Branson area and this is called Bridgeview and we're going to tell you why in just a second. But we stopped at a Chamber of Commerce place to get some information. She said this place has amazing sandwiches. We're going to find out. And uh, the reason this is called Bridgeview is here are the folks that are making our sandwiches. But you can see we're sitting here and uh, if we didn't need Wi-Fi as desperately as we did, we could sit outside and um, have a great meal, good view of that bridge, and Table Rock, we're going to be talking about a little bit more later on, but that, that lake is massive. So anyway, just kind of a, another fun place to stop in, a little coffee bar, uh, to take a break from the hustle and bustle of Branson. Well, this is where we typically do our uh, fire, fireside chat, but since we have this gorgeous lake view here, literally in our campsite, um, decided we'd have a lakeside chat. And um, with our time here at Branson, um, at Branson West is actually where, yes. a little bit more accurate as to where this park is. Um, we have had a wonderful time. Now, we do want to tell you that uh, as with most places, the state line, they gave us absolutely wonderful information. They gave it every turn right to the park. And as a matter of fact, they gave us a couple different maps, not just the state map, but then a map that showed exactly the exits we were going to be taking at Springfield and then a zoomed in map of this particular area. However, one thing I want to just kind of warn you about if you're not familiar with this area, when we were up near Springfield, we decided we wanted to go in and top off the, the tank with gas. And um, it was the oddest, it may have just been that one bridge. I don't know, I wasn't about to get off again. <laughs> but we are pulling our trailer, we exit because it said there was gonna be gas, which we assumed meant at that exit. And it told us we had to turn left to right. get the gas. And so we decided, okay, we'll go on and drive down this road. So we go up and we exit and I they thought, have they us was, I thought it was going to be a little roundabout where you get right back on the freeway and it's behind you. Right, because we go up and they immediately make us turn left to go over this overpass. And then we get up there and we realize that there, the opposite opposing traffic is on the other side. Then you get to the road and at the intersection they make you cross over to be on the right side of the road again. And... Um, this is we, the strangest thing. We didn't get gas. Uh, ultimately <coughs> found a nice big parking lot where I could just turn around and come back, which then we're driving around on the right side of the road. We get to that particular overpass. They shift the lanes over so that the traffic's on the opposite side. I didn't understand it, but no. if that wasn't confusing enough. That and the road signs. We head down here, and there are oftentimes, I mean, we know this from... from traveling is it you'll have roads that are running parallel then they actually run on the same road yes. and then they'll diverge somewhere but rarely do you have one road that is southbound another road that is eastbound and another road that is westbound all going the same, same direction, direction. <laughs> like, no wonder people get lost here uh, but anyway it's been that and that one other thing about the driving the road signs come up and you don't know whether it's the next road or the and one light. after, yeah. or how far that's going to be. Um, but anyway, it's it, it makes it a challenge and fun for sure. It does. It's just <laughs> an adventure. You get to test your driving skills. Um, but this is truly one of the prettiest parks we've we've stayed at, and this is Ants Creek. Ants Creek, and it is on Table Rock Lake. Now, you were telling me about Table Rock Lake. Yeah, I read uh, in one of the pamphlets that they gave us, this is a huge lake. It takes up I, this whole south southwestern corner of Missouri and a little bit into Arkansas. Um, somewhere I read said it has 842 miles of shoreline. It's a massive lake. And fishing is evidently amazing. We just saw a man who was launching his little... At, that's another kind of yes. we're not fisher people no um 
it's been interesting. We've seen a lot of big power boats, and then we've seen some little bass boats, and just kind of makes you wonder who's going to catch the most. Well, the only person we've seen actually pull a fish out of here was in one of the little bass boats. <laughs> um, but it uh, it's huge fishing. They had fishing tournament the other night. That was yeah, interesting. At night. Yeah, an evening tournament, and uh, here in uh, Branson West. We were looking for Wi-Fi yesterday. And, and so we actually went to Kimberling City. That's the Chamber of Commerce. Stopped in the Chamber of Commerce there and asked the lady, where can we go, maybe get a cup of coffee, place with maybe some sandwiches that has Wi-Fi. And she told us about this amazing little place that's just opened called Bridgeview Coffee Bar. Opened March in March, March the 1st, I think. She said the sandwiches are phenomenal, and they were. They were uh, excellent. We had... Uh, turkey and feta yes paninis, it was. and they were excellent and cookies were awesome as yes. well yes and they had smoothies and all sorts of coffee everything you would expect yeah. at a coffee bar uh but the view is just beautiful it's and i want to do one thing the owner uh had some personal issues and she said her staff opened for her i mean she was due to open march 1st they got everything stocked, ordered yeah. stocked open she, I feel like it's got to be a good place. It's a great when place. The boss praises her staff, the customers, and not only that, she said just that they're doing well, just word of mouth with the community here. So it's a little hideaway that most people aren't going to know about. So, so if you want somewhere that's off of the <coughs> beaten path, and you're in the Kimberling Branson Branson West, West area. area, it's Bridgeview and. We'll have on the video a reason why it's called that Bridgeview Coffee Bar. And then another thing we did while we were here, we did drive down just to see all the the headlines and the shows and everything, which is, for this area, I mean, it is just gorgeous up here. And if you've been here, you know the area. But then you're driving along, and all of a sudden you feel like you're on Las Vegas Strip. You've yes. got all these big, uh, yes. big signs and stuff. Uh, and a lot of people obviously enjoy those shows and that kind of thing. And, and we welcome them, too. That's and not a thing. We were planning to go to a cave. Um, it's just there are a lot of caves in this area, and I enjoy going in caves. Um, it's just kind of a, always interesting to see the different caves and the stories behind them. And there's a Civil War cave not far from here we talked in about going to. Springfield, I think. Um, but we were looking for something else, and we found uh, University of the Ozarks. And our Ozark University, Ozark uh, University, University of the of Ozarks. Ozarks. It was amazing. And so we talk about it in the video. Yes, we um, we as you saw in the video. The, now we didn't mention that the the front of that restaurant area did have like some. Uh, hey Theo, come here, buddy. Had like some um, rocking chairs and things. Where we were able to sit out and eat our ice cream, which was great. And the salad dressing we did yes. try, and it's very good. That has become their house dressing. It's um, hey, shh, come here. Sorry about that. Um, it's sort of a sweet, tangy, uh, but it's a lot thicker than I thought it yes. was going to be. It's not like a vinaigrette at all. Yeah, it was really good, and um, so that was a. Excuse me. No. It was a great no. place to go. A great place to get things. Uh, if you're in the area, there is zip lining, lots of zip lining. Oh, places. yeah, you can. Silver Dollar, Dollar City is an amusement park. There are water parks. Mm -hmm. If you want that type of thing, it's a it abounds here. Right. And camping, this lake having that much shoreline has I don't even want massive guess. number of campgrounds around <laughs> it. Corps of Engineering State Parks. Right. And so it's a gorgeous area. We have really enjoyed our stay here and uh, learned a lot about launching uh, fishing boats and, yes. <laughs> and jet skis and, and uh, nighttime fishing tournaments. <laughs> exactly. It's but it's gorgeous. It's the campgrounds just make it kind of nice to get away and and slow down yes. and have a place that's a, that's out a little bit. And yes. uh, this has been a beautiful place. Yes. And we have really enjoyed it and uh, look forward to our next adventure. Yes. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Two Tired, Tired Teachers. teachers.